point shoe bunny. Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. Whenever a fitter finishes their training, their final test is to fit me because my feet suck. But for reals, there aren't a lot of shoes on the market that was available for me when I was dancing. I have almost a size nine and a half on my left, a size nine on my right, and I'm insanely narrow. And because I'm so insanely compressive, people always fitted me way too wide and I was like in sync city. Now I know half of it was my fault because I was so weak that I wasn't able to pull myself out of the point shoes. So I'm gonna try on a shoe that I was fitted in when I was younger and a new shoe that they came out with recently that didn't exist when I was dancing. Obviously we can't use me as a final test anymore because I'm giving you the answers here, but here we are. I needed a really narrow, really tapered point shoe that also bent with my foot, that didn't give me bunion pains, and I didn't lose my toenail in. So the shoe that I ended up with when I was younger was a 2007. That shoe is actually very versatile. A lot of people can wear it, but it was really great for those people who had super narrow feet like me because their width one is like the narrowest shoe. So this is the original shoe that I was in. You can see that it's very tapered. It has a really flat platform platform, quite small, quite narrow. It was the only shoe that I didn't sink in. When I first got into this shoe, I was like, oh my gosh, my toenail's not about to break off. It was magical. I wasn't a width one, but I actually pulled out a width two because I think my feet have gotten a little bit wider. This is my original shoe. If the shoe is not tight enough, I can feel my toes slamming at the end of the shoe. But even in a width two, I feel pretty good, but it feels super, super stable. When I was first fitted in point shoes, I was fitted in 2007. And at that time, that was the only model of its kind. There are a ton of different models by Nikolai that is kind of like the 2007. There's a 3007. There's there's Dream Point, there's Nova, Nova Flex. All of these point shoe models are on the same last, so it's very similar in shape. So if you don't know what a last is, it's what shoes are made on top of. It's like a fake foot. Point shoe makers will make the shoe on top of it. Recently, in the past year or so, there was a new shoe that came out that I'm absolutely in love with. And this is called the Stream Point. This is the exact same size, but you can see that there's a pretty big difference between the two. The last for the Stream Point, it's a little bit more generous right around the bunion area. So it has a little bit more width and it's a little bit lower crown. It fits the modern foot a little bit better. On top of that, the Stream Point is using a different type of glue. So this glue is a little bit more malleable. It's a little bit softer. It requires a little bit less break-in. I think the 2X in the Stream Point is a bit wide for me because I was sinking, but it felt so good around my feet. Even without any breaking in the box, it felt so comfortable right around my bunion area. So I overall really like this last a little bit more. I also like how it bends, and if you look at this shoe, the fabric is cut so beautifully. One of the main differences between the Stream Point and some of the older models like the 3007 or the Nova is that they cut down the side fabric quite a bit. So you can see the difference here that this one comes up a little bit higher in the waist seam, and this one is cut down a little bit lower. The Stream Point doesn't have a drawstring. It has the elasticized casing, so it just fits on your foot. This one has a cotton drawstring, and it has the regular casing. There are some other point shoes on the market that have the elasticized casing, but honestly, this is one of the best elasticized casing I've seen. If you do this incorrectly, there's a way that it, where it like kind of squishes into your foot and then the fabric puckers out, but the Stream Point really doesn't do that. They did a really great job making it super streamlined, I see what you did there, and making the foot just look really, really pretty. I have a really low profile foot, so the low profile fits beautifully. You can see that it's a little bit wider across the metatarsal. This is for a wider, more generous foot. A lot of people who are both square and tapered can wear the shoe. Also, if you're squishing these two together, you can feel that this glue is a little bit more malleable and softer, both in the box and the shank. So it's a lot easier to roll through. It's a lot softer. I'm a big fan of that because softer shoes will help you articulate your feet a little bit more. But overall, I really love the direction that Nikolai is going. I love the old models where the shoes are super supportive and super comfortable, super stable to wear. But I'm loving this line that is softer, easier to roll through, 
through, more streamlined, just more malleable and easy to articulate in general. So I'm a really big fan. And I also enjoy this new shape as well that's going to be a lot more healthy for a lot of dancers because our feet are getting wider and lower profile. So if you're curious to know what this fits like, then you can always sign up for a virtual fitting and I can fit you into this or at least see if it's a right fit for you.